How frustrating would it be when you know how sick you are and somebody's telling you, ah, it's not real. There is no such thing as chronic fatigue. And you're like, live in my body for 24 hours, champ, and then get back to me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I put up a thing on Instagram the other day and it just it pretty much went off the chart. People just resonated with it so much and I described what, you know, what it's like to have chronic fatigue syndrome. This is what I wrote. How I explain chronic fatigue syndrome to someone that doesn't have it. Imagine going on a really long flight, drinking lots of alcohol, adding a cold and a flu on top of that, and you're in excruciating pain because you fell off some rocks and you hit your whole body all over. And then you wake up with jet lag, a hangover and a flu and in pain, times that by 20, and then imagine having that for a long time without drinking or going on a flight in the first place. Mm. Obviously there's the physical pain and discomfort and dysfunction, but then there's the fact that you kind of have to almost prove that it's real. Mm. I'm not full of shit. Like that's like an emotional and a psychological burden that nobody who's sick needs to have. It's funny you mentioned that, which not many people who haven't had it have ever said that. So it's amazing. I'm not surprised that you said that because you are who you are, but that's the biggest problem that I see. And sometimes like when people join our program, we have to teach them, stop it. You cannot change anybody else's opinion. A lot of people just feel like they need to prove their illness which is a job within itself. But the problem with that job is it distracts you from what actually is going to help you improve. And so there's a path where you can go down this, it, it, it's who I am and look at me, I'm in so much pain. And we all go through it. There's that place where we just want to be uh, seen and heard, but how's that actually serving your recovery and taking you to the, the life that you want? And so there's a shift in focus that needs to happen in order to let that go, which is very hard when you want the approval of the people closest to you and also the ext external work, because there's a lot of negative connotations. It's the yuppie flu, it's all in your head, like you said. And so letting go of that is a huge aspect of recovery in the first place, because you imagine all the energy it takes when you're already depleted of energy to try and prove to someone that you're ill. I was thinking the exact same thing. I was thinking, it, just as you said, that I was going to say, you're actually draining energy that you don't have on tap to try to get, you know, recognition or acceptance or understanding from people that because you love them and they're like, ah, come on, champ, get up, just go for a fucking jog. We all have a hard day. Come on, Literally. mate, you be right. Yeah, come on, get out of your head. Come on, push yourself, sweat it out. And yeah. we need to harness the, the limited energy that we have which is what is going to give us the biggest return back to ourselves. And that's what we teach people, you know, and that's it, it, nothing magical. Like that's the crazy thing. People recover and they improve and they get their lives back and they, and people on the outside go, what, what is it? What did they do? Tell us the secret. And it's like, no, there actually isn't a secret, but it's all these little things that we actually don't think about that's important that actually does move the needle for people.